Uh, in the next chapter we are talking about, I called it shell to Perl, and we are talking about uh, shell related things or things related to the file system that uh, are mostly Unix based or came from Unix, but uh, I'm going to show you things that are platform independent, so these things uh, work uh, to some extent on Windows as well. The first thing we see is the minus X operators. There are a bunch of operators that all look like this, minus and the letter. It's minus E, minus R, and so on. Usually they get a file name, and usually they return true or false, depending on some condition. So these are these have really strange names, but the reason they have uh, this name is because in the Unix shell, that's how they, they looked like and worked, and uh, Perl inherited it from there, or came got, got the idea from there, and it's still uh, used, but uh, some of them are uh, relevant also on Windows. Some of them are just irrelevant there. So for example, minus E and name of the file will return true if the file exists, so E exists. Um, and it will return false if the file doesn't exist. And obviously you can give it a, a pass, a pass to a file or a short name or whatever. So that's minus E. Minus R would uh, check if the file or the directory is readable by the current user, minus w if it's writable, minus x if it's executable, these are the regular Unix bits. So they don't uh, check uh, the Windows uh, writes of uh, whether you can, uh, what can you do with, uh, with a file. Minus f checks if it's a file, uh, as opposed to let's say a directory, which is minus d checking. So minus d and name and the path to something will return true if the, that thing is a directory minus f would check whether that's a file, minus l checks, this is an l, checks whether that's a symbolic link, again this, uh, this is something that's only relevant on Unix or Linux systems, minus s is a little bit different because it returns the size of the file in bytes, so, uh, but you can use it uh, also as a, in a condition because that's the, the value it returns is, is going to be a true value, any positive number, if the file exists and it has some content. If the file doesn't exist, this returns undef, which is false uh, in a Boolean context, and a zero if the file is em empty, so that's also false. So it can be used in an if statement, though it can also be used like this. So minus s name of the file and it will return the, the size of the file. Minus capital M is a little bit strange again, it returns the number of days between the change between the cr uh, start of the script when we started to run the script and the time the, the file was changed modified last time uh, sorry the, so the time between the modification and the run of the script so if let's say uh, the and this is this is uh, in whole numbers uh, or it's a r a r rational numbers but it's um, uh, one meaning one day, so in days. So if the file was changed, uh, modified last time, exactly a day ago, then this number will be 1. If it was half a day ago, then it will be 0 0.5. But if you have a script that starts to run, and let's say it ch modifies a file, so the file modification is after the script started, and then you check this, then you will get a negative value, value because then the... Then the time is in the goes in the other, other direction. In general, you can ask uh, the documentation of Perl with Perl doc minus f because it's a it's a function and uh, minus x, and it will tell you exactly which what kind of uh, operators you have and uh, what do they do.